right, so here's my update. I just finished up week 15 out of 72 of me going through um, the Sculpted Vegan Sculpt and Shred program. So I can't remember. I think last week I was saying I was feeling like kind of weak and not it was either last week or the week before I don't know but anyway this week's different um especially like the last couple of days I felt really really strong especially on Saturday <laughs> so um I had this really big paper that was due on was it Thursday afternoon yeah so I didn't end up doing my Thursday workout just because I needed the time to work on this paper and get it finished up. And so I just kind of skipped my workout Thursday and I shifted everything back a day. Um, I noticed on Friday and Saturday, like, I didn't feel like working out mentally, <laughs> but especially Saturday, whenever I got in there, like, I just went way heavier on the weights than I have been previously and I was able so like I went heavier and I was like okay I think I can do these heavier weights and I thought well maybe I won't get as many reps but I was getting like high reps at heavier weights upped my weights so yeah there's something <laughs> going on in my hormone cycle I guess to where like it was just easy for me I don't know um I did and this is something that I've noticed like with my mind too usually around the time that I'm like in my second or third day of my period like that's when my brain <laughs> seems to be working well to like focus and get stuff done so that lined out perfectly for me to like work on this paper and get it done and then I think like right after my period and we'll we'll test this next month um seems to be when my my strength is the highest so I can start to feel like at the gym today I went so normally on Saturday and Sunday they're kind of my rest days I try to do a little bit of extra cardio on Saturday and then just do kind of a light cardio on Sunday I just walk and I've been reading stuff for work and school every day so I'll bring something to read while I walk on the treadmill every day and the reading was hard today like I don't feel like focusing was very easy today on what I was reading but I feel like a lot of energy and I want to like get stuff done. So I'm going to do a lot of work around the house today. I've got a good spot right now where I've got a little bit of like let up in my work and school stuff for right now. So because my brain is where it's at and because I am feeling strong and feeling kind of like a lot of energy to like move around and do stuff, um, I'm going to use that to my advantage today and try to get a bunch of stuff done around my house that I've been putting off. So that's kind of where I'm at. The workouts were pretty good. I'm still getting sore, definitely like on chest day. Um, it's chest and triceps. So I feel like my triceps and chest getting pretty sore. Same thing. It's just like, it's not that like immense soreness that I was getting. And I know I say this like every week, but um, I am trying to keep pushing myself enough to where I am getting a little bit sore um, just to kind of give me the idea that I'm still like pushing and moving forward and so yeah also another thing I kept my calories below for most days I think there was two days that I went a little bit above 1700 calories but it was still below 2000 calories so I stayed below 2000 this whole week and on average it was like 1680 so you know my target is 1700 so I did pretty good on that this week. The beginning of the week, I did really well at like trying to get the extra protein in. Um, I uh, have been doing two protein shakes a day, which is 100 grams of protein just from the protein shakes. But then, yeah, it looks like just for my food, I only get about 50 grams of protein. So yeah, with the vegan diet, it's just, it's really hard to get those high levels of protein without going over on the carbs because a lot of the vegan proteins also have carbs in them so but one thing I think might be hard if I were eating meat I I'm understanding why when people that aren't vegan do bodybuilding why they're eating like a lot of fish and a lot of chicken because I think the other meats 
probably will like throw off their fat macros. Whereas if you're eating fish or chicken, then you're getting the protein without the carbs and without the fats too. And so I'm kind of experiencing something similar to what like meat eaters would eat if they were eating like red meats, you know, with the vegan stuff. Like they're, they, I feel like they would have trouble keeping the fats down. Whereas I'm having trouble keeping the carbs down. Um, and I, I don't have any trouble keeping the fats down. Like last week, I think I was eating some peanut butter at the end of the day because I still had some calories left and I needed higher fats in there. <clears throat> so the fats aren't hard for me. Um, it's, it's the carbs that's hard to keep down. So I'm having to do two protein shakes a day. But if I do two protein shakes a day and then kind of my vegan meal that I have, um, it seems to hit me right at my macros. It's just so far i'm still able to drink the protein shakes okay this protein powder that i have um it goes down pretty smooth so i just worry that like by the end of this for 72 weeks i'm gonna get really tired of having protein shakes but i'm just planning on this being a small phase of my life um you know just getting healthy enough to compete for maybe like a year and then i'll we'll, change up my diet to something that's more sustainable to where I'm not worried as much about carbs and where I'm not drinking protein shakes all the time. Um, but yeah, so far now, like the diet that I have, I ate pretty much the same thing every day and it's, it's working out okay. Um, it got thrown off a little bit Friday cause kind of like as a reward for getting my work done, my roommate's been wanting to go to the movies. So went to the movies and saw the Super Mario Brothers movie and I got popcorn at the movies and I didn't get the extra butter on it. I can't imagine how many calories you would have eating movie popcorn with the butter on it because just the popcorn itself was like 800 calories and my roommate got like, so we got our own separate because I didn't want the butter on mine and um, yeah. Like, I can't imagine how many calories his was when he got, like, a ton of extra butter on it. But I think if I go again, I'm just going to get a small popcorn. <laughs> um, because it totally threw off my macros for the day. Um, and I think I did have two protein shakes that day and popcorn. And it was still a little bit tough to get the macros in, right? But, yeah, so that messed up my day a little bit. And then yesterday... I went a little bit off, I went a little bit over, but in any case, what was weird was even though towards the end of the week, those last two days, Friday, Saturday, I had higher calories, my weight is starting to go down. So even though I had stayed under my calories last week when I was on my period and kind of the beginning of this week, my weight was like going up just a little bit, even though I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm eating below my maintenance calories. I, I feel like I was in a little bit of a calorie deficit but my weight was still going up. But then I woke up this morning, or the last couple days it started to go down. And then I woke up this morning and it had dropped by like two pounds overnight. So it's just crazy. And I have felt a lot leaner this week. Like I feel like I'm starting to feel my muscles um, like more, like I've talked about this before. Like I felt like I was getting stronger but I wasn't really like noticing it too much um, visibly and even from the touch because I think I just had a layer of fat over my muscles but now I'm starting to feel it like without flexing I can start to kind of feel my muscles I don't think they're super visible yet but I think it's starting to happen so I think the 1700 is a good calorie level for me stay between you know, 1600 and 2000, try to stay below 1700 for most of the days. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to try to stick to this. Who knows? In like a couple weeks, I may get just that hunger that happens when you're like before your period. But I'm going to try to stick to it and just see how it goes. I think if I can stick to it, that I will really start to see some visible changes over the next couple weeks. So I've still got five more weeks, well, four more weeks now until I start my next 
phase in the workout so we'll see how that goes but so far phase two so phase one was just kind of me getting a handle in the gym and the workouts and getting in a routine with that phase two i've been really trying to focus on my diet so hopefully i can combine both of those in phase three and just really start seeing some changes but anyway i'm gonna stop talking i will hop on the apps and show you what that's been looking like and then do my measurements all right so on my fitbit app i've been getting pretty good sleep um yeah getting around seven and a half eight hours i feel like that's pretty good and then my weight um so yeah, here's what I'm talking about last week. So if you look at that April 2nd to 8th, I started my period about the middle of the week. And so you could see staying at the 1700 calories, my weight started to drop. And then about the middle of the week, it started to actually about the end of the week, it started to come back up and then it went up to 141 and then it started to drop back down and then look at today. 137.2 just almost two pounds overnight so that's weird but I'm back below 140 so I've officially kind of like lost my vacation weight that I put on um yeah this March 19th through 25th I put on that vacation weight and it's starting to come down um let's see so my fitness pal for the calories um yeah, so most of the days, those first three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I had like a really strictly st stayed to my diet, didn't eat really anything off of it. I had some pretty good macros. And then, um, yeah, Thursday, I was kind of, I don't know what happened Thursday. I was just a little bit over. I think I ate a little bit extra because I was stressed <laughs> getting that paper done. Um, and then Friday was the popcorn day. And then yesterday I don't know what I ate I ate some extra fruit last night like I didn't stick to my main diet I kind of switched some things around and tried to get my macros in and then just kind of had a little bit of extra fruit yesterday but um my macros were okay they weren't quite as good as last week last week I had 33 percent average protein um and then my fats were a little bit higher this week but it's still above above 30 so I'm going to count that as a win, but I would like it to be like 35 to 40 with the ideal being 40, but it is what it is. So yeah, that's what happened. Let me see if I can show you what I've been eating. Oh, that was last Sunday. So this is pretty much what I ate every day. I would have my pre-workout in the morning, I have these BCAAs, my protein shake, and then I've been having this plant-based chili, has like, yeah, 28 grams of protein, a lot of carbs though, um, but not too bad, and then I've been putting these meatballs into the chili, so decent protein, still some carbs, and then these Beyond Steak, which those are good, maybe I should do a double of the Beyond Steak, and take out the meatballs that may make it easy to hit my protein on that and then yeah I was eating some vegetables so I got some green beans the other days I had like steamed broccoli um, and then another protein shake and then I did add a little bit of fruit at the end but so that was my protein breakdown I want to try to get at least my body weight and protein so I did that on that day yeah and this day I had more why did I have more Oh, because I ate fewer, um, oops, I ate, wait, this was last week. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, yeah, so I had the broccoli, oh, my protein was kind of low. Anyway, um. Oh yeah, I had some of these like protein shakes that didn't have quite as much protein in my fridge and I wanted to drink those up. So instead of getting 50 grams of protein on my second shake at the end of the night, I was only getting 20. But I ran out of those by like Wednesday, I think. 
okay, I guess Tuesday. So that's when I had my second, and then I was hitting 164 grams of protein, which is 41%, 35 carbs, 24 fat, which is like right at what I what I want to be. So I need to probably try to stick to this for next week. Probably what I'm going to do, actually. So, yeah, sorry for the rambling. Um, I will get on with my measurements now. Okay, so here's how we're looking. About the same. So let's see what the measurements show. Last week I was thirty point seven five around my band. This week Okay, I don't know if that's right. Cause it's showing twenty nine point seven five. Let me try it again. No, that's what it's showing this week. So I guess I lost like an inch around my my back. Uh, this was thirty five point two five last week. This is 34 and a half now, so I guess I am losing that those two pounds came off. And my waist last week was 31.75. Wow, okay. Now it's like 30 and a half. So I have lost a lot. My hips have been 39 and a quarter for the past three weeks at least. So we'll see if anything happened there. Okay, now they're 39. So I lost like a half inch. Thighs. Don't tend to change much on my thighs, but we'll see. Last week it was 21 and a quarter. Whoa. This week it looks like 20 and a quarter. So, no. 20 and three quarters. Okay, so it looks like I have started to go back to losing in like in my measurements again. So yeah, I'll be anxious to see if I can stick to that diet, that last one, that last meal plan that I showed where I just have like two protein shakes. I have the chili. I put some extra plant protein in the chili and then have a little bit of fruit and gets me right under the 1700 calories gets my macros right so I'm gonna keep pushing to work out hopefully I can keep the strength that I've had the last couple days and we'll see how it goes <laughs>